So dear viewers, this is the formula that we did. But now, I am going to show you what the real formula is. Because all of the time, we're not going to use minus 5 and 4, right? You're going to have to remember a formula. So I'm going to write that down. A sub k, right? I told you before that you can do any um, variable letter you want. We're going with a sub k because it's mo com most commonly used. So a sub k is equals to our first term in the sequence. That would be, let's say, x, right? And x is the first term. Plus our common difference. Our common difference, let's say, as c, right? Common difference. And then we're going to put it as k minus 1, our term minus 1. Now let's say that, oh, sorry. Now let's say that you didn't hold this as k. a sub n, right? Let's say you did that, but we didn't do it. But if you don't do that, then we're going to write n minus 1 right here. Okay? But that's just like for saying that you're going to have to put that term. You're going to have to hold it as your variable letter. And then minus 1, that's the previous term. And then uh, before that, you're going to have to put the first term plus your common difference. And then your previous term. Multiply by your previous term. So this is the formula that you are going to have to remember. Dear viewers, in some of my other episodes, I have shown you how to figure out equations and functions. And inshallah, today I will show you how to figure out sequences. Well, we know that there are two types of sequences. There are arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences. Now, at first, I will explain to you what these two are. And then inshallah, I will show you the explicit and recursive ways of writing the arithmetic sequence. And inshallah, in one of my next videos, I will show you how to figure out the explicit and recursive for the geometric sequence. Okay, so at first, what is an arithmetic sequence? Let me give you an example. For example, we have 3, and then 6, and then 9, and then 12, and then 15. Now, you may see a pattern in this. And what is that? That by every term, you are adding 3. Right? You're, by every term, you are adding 3. Right? So, th the 3 is the common difference right here. So, this is an arithmetic sequence. When you have some numbers in a sequence, and then all of them have the same um, the common difference. Now, it can also be with multiplying, but the arithmetic sequence only applies for any adding or subtracting formulas. Now let me show you the explicit and recursive ways of writing the arithmetic sequence. Okay, now, for example, we have the sequence, let's say minus five, and then let's say minus one for some reason, and maybe three, and then seven, okay? So now I'm telling you to figure out the explicit from this. Try to pause the video and figure it out. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to figure out the explicit from this. Well, first we start with the a sub k. Now, most of the time we represent it with the a sub k, but other times we can also represent it with any other variable letter, but most of the time we do a sub k. And you can do any other variable letter you want, okay? And then we're going to write that k is equals to 1. Why 1? Because k would be the first term. In this sequence, the first term is minus 5, right? So that's why k is equals to 1. Now, I just wrote 4 of these. But there could be more. So if I put a dot, 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 my, yeah, then there would be infinity. So let's say I put that. Then we would write infinity. Oh, sorry. We would write infinity. There we go. So the... The language is that a sub k from k is equals to 1 to infinity, okay? Then we're going to write with, then we're going to write a sub k again. a sub k, sub, so the k is a little down, is equals to. Now, what is the first term in this sequence? I told you before, the first term k is equals to 1 is minus 5, which is exactly why we are going to write minus 5 first. And let's say that it wasn't minus 5. Let's say that it was 4 right here. Then what would we start with? We'll start with 4 because it was the first term. But because the first term right in this sequence is minus 5, we're putting minus 5. 
Then, what is the common difference? The common difference is 4. How do I know? Because minus 5 plus 4 is actually 1. And then minus 1 plus 4 is 3. And 3 plus 4 is 7. So that's how I know that the common difference is 4. And so it's plus 4, right? And in the parentheses, we would write k minus 1. k is the term and the previous term. So k minus 1. Now, this is the explicit way. Okay, so dear viewers, now let's test this formula if it actually works. Well, let's say that we don't even have that sequence at all. Then, how would you know what the first term was? How would you know? I already told you that the first term was minus 5. You just figure it out from the sequence right here. Then what you do is, let's say we want to figure out for the first fourth term. Now, in our sequence, the fourth term should come up as 7. Okay, well, now let's test it out. First, first here that a of k, a sub k is equals to minus 5 plus 4 k minus 1. k minus 1 is the previous term. Let's say we want to figure out for the fourth term. The fourth term in our sequence should be 7. Let's test it out. So a sub k is equals to minus 5 plus 4. We want to figure out the fourth term minus 1, right? Now I'm going to write a sub k is equals to minus 5 plus 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Multiply by 3. So a sub k is equals to minus 5 plus 12. Why? Because, oh, because 4 times 3 is 12. And then a sub k, our last one, would it be 7. Why? Because minus 5 plus 7 plus 12 is 7. So yes, we wanted to figure out that uh, for the fourth term, and the fourth term turned out to be 7, which is actually what we got in our sequence. So dear viewers, this is the formula that we did. But now, I am going to show you what the real formula is. Because all of the time, we're not going to use minus 5 and 4, right? You're going to have to remember a formula. So I'm going to write that down. A sub k, right? I told you before that you can do any um, variable letter you want. We're going with a sub k because it's mo com most commonly used. So a sub k is equals to our first term in the sequence. That would be, let's say, x, right? And x is the first term. Plus our common difference. Our common difference, let's say, as c, right? Common difference. And then we're going to put it as k minus 1, our term minus 1. Now let's say that, oh, sorry. Now let's say that you didn't hold this as k. A sub n, right? Let's say you did that, but we didn't do it. But if you do that, then we're going to write n minus 1 right here. Okay? But that's just for saying that you're going to have to put that term. You're going to have to hold it as your variable letter. And then minus 1, that's the previous term. And then uh, before that, you're going to have to put the first term plus your common difference. And then your previous term. Multiply by your previous term. So this is the formula that you are going to have to remember. Okay, so dear viewers, now let's do it with the recursive formula for the same sequence. We're going to write down first a sub k like we did before. Uh, as I said, you can hold any variable letter you want. k is equals to 1, your first term. So k is, from k is equals to 1 to infinity. With. Now, remember in explicit, we wrote only one uh, formula. But this time, we're going to have to write two sentences. Okay, so a sub 1. Why 1? Because a k would be your term, and your term would be 1 right here. 1 is equals to your first sequence, or your first term of the sequence, which is minus 5. Right? And then you do a sub k is equals to a k minus 1 plus our common difference. Now, this has to work. Let's test it out. Um, let's say that we want to figure out the fourth term, right? We have to figure out 7. Now, that would be a sub k is equals to a, um, that would be my fourth term minus 1 plus 4. Now, a sub k is equals to a of 3 plus 4. Now let's say that we we didn't we didn't have the four and said we had the three. Then the three we uh, the a sub three we already know is three, right? So a sub k oh sorry um 
here. A sub k is equals to a of a of the term three would be three right here plus four. So that means that yes, a sub k is equals to seven. We did it. It turned out correct. So this is how you can write the recursive. But wait, I just showed you how to figure it out for this sequence. What about the basic structure that you need to remember to actually do this? Let me show you that. Um, here I'll erase this. And right here. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the basic structure that you need to know in order to solve this. So A sub 1 would be your first term. Um, your first term would be x. As we said in the explicit, we held it as x. So x. Now here we're going to put A, your term minus 1, plus your common difference. The common difference. Oh, sorry. Uh, the common difference there we held as C in the explicit formula, so C. This is the basic structure that you need to remember. And inshallah, in my next class, I will show you how to figure out the explicit and recursive of the geometric formulas. Thank you, Assalamu alaikum.